Gary, give us a, a top line of what you all are doing in the healthcare and life sciences at Verizon. Yeah, thanks, Luke. You know, I'm, as I'm looking across the, our virtual room here, I'm thinking about the phrase, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. So I feel like I'm in the right room today. So uh, thanks for, for letting us for, for letting us be a part of this. You know, um, wow, that's that's a uh, geez, where do I go with that? I mean, we're we're doing so much across the, the healthcare and life science. We're we're in a position where we can enable a lot of amazing things that are happening. You know, um, the VA is an exciting customer. They're one of the the early adopters, if you will, of 5G. Um, we've been doing a lot of work with them around you know, augmented reality in the surgical rooms. I mean, imagine a physician being able to put on a pair of HoloLens glasses, and then we overlay all this three-dimensional high-fidelity images, you know, on the patient so that the surgeon can see where the tumor is, guide his or her incision, to be able to use AI-enabled gloves to pull out a digital twin of the spine, rotate it. And you think about from like a medical education perspective, to be able to pull a heart out, expand it, walk inside it and look around. It's really some amazing things and uh, very fortunate um, that we can, if you look across like all our innovation labs, which we have innovation labs across the, across the globe, right? And so my team, we're really focused on innovation at Verizon when it comes to healthcare and life science. So we're, we're fortunate that we get to work with our customers, our partner ecosystem, and, and lay down this infrastructure and in all these labs and then bring all the constituents within healthcare together you know, the medical device, the retail RX, payers, providers, and on down the list. And, and we talk about problems and we figure out how we can work together to solve these problems. So a lot of really amazing things when you think about um, the connected hospital of the future, right? It's kind of evolved into more of this connected ecosystem. And we just made a big announcement um, with the Cleveland Clinic, so I can officially say their name. But this is going to be, we're partnered with them. This is going to be the first hospital built in the country from the ground up with a 5G private wireless network. And that's super exciting for lots of reasons when you think about everything from, from security to you know enable um, all these amazing things, like I mentioned AR, VR in the surgical room, but um, just with the, the, I think it was Carl that was talking about data, right? You know, we have massive amounts of data in healthcare. And you think about like precision medicine. I mean, how do you get, how do you query all this encrypted you know, data, right? Um, and it was maybe 12 years ago or so, the light bulb kind of went off and for me and I started thinking about, okay, the telecoms of the world are gonna play a big part of the future of healthcare because when you start looking at massive amounts of data, well, that's gonna suck up a bandwidth in a hospital, right? Um, when you're talking about AR, VR in the surgical room, you, you need to have very low latency, right? You can't have a delay when you're cutting into a patient. So I, I guess the light bulb kind of went off when I was thinking about precision medicine to, to make sense of that data to put AI models on top of that, to be able to query that, to get, to change that data to actionable insights. You know, you need the right infrastructure. So that's a lot of the focus that we have here at, at Verizon. 